a sub. So today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you some natural hair rules that I do not follow. Yeah, I said it. There are some rules that I don't follow. I've seen this video circulating around YouTube and Facebook for some months now, and I decided to join in on it because I don't follow all the natural hair rules, and my hair is fine. I don't follow my natural hair regimen strictly. My first few years of being natural, I literally wrote out the steps, the times, the days of weeks that I would be washing my hair, deep conditioning, um, you know, different types of treatments to my hair. But now, three years in the game, I don't do all that. I don't have time for all that. I've learned that as a natural, sometimes we or I end up doing too much and sometimes less is actually more. Simplify your regimen to what you need at the particular time. Yes, having a natural hair regimen is nice to have. It's like a guide to what you need to do if you need to do that particular treatment. But for me, if one week my hair needs more moisture, then I'm gonna deep condition. If another week my hair needs some protein, I'm gonna do that. I don't moisturize my hair on a daily basis. I usually moisturize my hair weekly, normally on wash days, and that seems to be it. If I'm transitioning my hair over to another style, all I would do is grab my spray bottle and spray a little bit of water. I don't trim my hair on schedule. I know, I don't. I've learned that trimming your hair on schedule isn't a bad thing. Trimming on schedule will help you to determine, okay, well, I didn't do my trim this certain time, so I'm gonna do it now. But for me, I've learned that I trim my hair when necessary. So if I see some split ends or some single strand knots up in my hair, I'm cutting them out. If I need to do it today, I'm gonna do it today because the longer you wait to trim those disgusting ends, the more damage you'll have for your hair and less hair growth that you'll see that you've retained. I actually have a video on how I trim my natural hair while curly and I give you some signs on when you need to trim. So check that out if you haven't. I don't always deep condition my hair under a hooded dryer. For me, that takes up too much time. So what I've been doing lately is I slap that bad boy on in my hair while I'm in the shower, do my thing in the shower, and then I rinse it all out and I'm done. I personally feel that yes, 30 minutes of deep condition is very important because it will help moisture penetrate your hair, but it depends on what you need. If you need more moisture in your hair, then you definitely need to go in and do that 30 minute to an hour deep condition treatment. But if I know myself and I know my hair and I don't need it, I don't got time for that. Moisturizing nightly, I do not rebraid, retwist, do my wash and goes. I don't do anything. Recurling my hair. Once my hair is done, is done. I don't go back and redo it for the next day. Frequent manipulation, constant touching your hair leads to breakage. And I don't want that. Do you? The only time that I would go into my hair a little bit more frequently is if I'm doing videos for you guys. So that I will take a chance at because I love you guys. So to prevent constant manipulation on a daily, nightly basis, I just pineapple my hair, put on my large bonnet, and go to bed. Keeping it all the way simple. This may come as a shock because in a few well, a whole lot of videos back. I mentioned that I used to follow the Curly Girl Method and it did great for me. Not exclusively to the Curly Girl Method, you, as a newly natural, like to read the ingredients in your products. For me, personally, yes, I am conscious about certain ingredients. On the norm, I don't read the ingredients. If I know that a product will work great for me, I'm gonna use it. I don't do hot oil treatments. Now, yeah, I know, hot oil treatments are great for people that have dry scalp, like myself. 
I never took the time out to try it. So if you've done a hot oil treatment, let me know how has it helped your hair and maybe I'll give it a try. So those were a few of the natural hair rules that I don't follow. If there are any rules that you don't follow, please share them down below because I'd love to know what you're not following. And let's see if we have anything in common. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys later. Stay blessed. Bye. And thumbs up this video. Share it with your friends. Mm.